Something's happened to the world. It began in our homes. A stalking, creeping thing that crawled into our beds and hid behind our doors. It began with our loved ones. The violence soon took to the streets, gleeful and enthusiastic. It exhausted the rescue services. It overran the military. For a time, there was only noise and confusion. But now... It's all gone silent. It's not too late. The world is still out there. The pieces can fit together again. I can save it, but not without help. And so I found you, a lone child in a quiet place. I'm glad you're here with me. I know where we have to go. I remember the room. I'll take us there right now. Just follow my voice. A small act should be enough. Great, that worked. Here we are. Uh, I, I know the whole situation's a little confusing right now, but all I need you to do is push the big red button. The one right over there. That's a funny looking device. Wonder what it does. Huh. Well, let's go ahead and keep that thing. You never know. Anyway, red button. Wait. This isn't nice. What's going on? Did we miss something? No, 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 no! Kiddo, you awake? Feeling all right? Good, good. That didn't quite work out back there, I'm sure you noticed. So there must be something else that needs taken care of first, and we should find out what that is. Try walking around for a bit. Let's get our bearings. Someone left something behind here. Break out that gizmo of yours. Let's see if we can find it. Okay. I'll admit that it's pretty fun to swing the hammer around. Not much room for that when you're keeping trains from crapping out. Still, they could at least get someone else down here to help hold the planks. Damn it. I'm a train mechanic, not a railway worker. Someone's gotta fix the bridge. Fine. Get anyone to do it. I don't know any more about bridges than the next guy. I need a hit. <sighs> Last of the planks now. Can't wait to get out of here. <sighs> Good enough. Should hold for people on foot, at least. Hmm. The experience is different every time. Unique, like the the shards of a broken window. But they're all like dreams at first, half forgotten and hazy. Then it becomes clear, and it's like they're right next to you. Isn't that strange? Anyway, let's move along. There's more to be done. Ah, Atlas Park. Lush, tranquil, secluded. They built it for the view and the symbolism. And the utility. This is the city of Chernosk, where innovation is key and even the architecture is experimental. Let's have a look around the park. I think we're going to find something here. Maintenance. I don't see any stairs. This is a fire hazard. For the record, I did say this was the city of innovation and not the city of functioning utilities. trust fund for Joyce when she was born. Assorted stocks and assets, but mostly shares from the Institute. Part of the annual bonus packages. It's all worthless now, unless someone goes back there. And no one is ever going back there. 
You have it? Keep your voice down, idiot. Yeah, I have it. What do you have? Lorazepam. Here, look. 24 doses, and it's popular already. I always wondered, when there are few humans left, does an individual life precious? Or is it just one more on the pile? Now this is interesting. Cameras, microphones. Turns out Atlas Park is a lush green police state. Who do you think used to monitor all this? And what were they afraid of? Him. Gotta be him with those golden glasses. He's been following us. I knew it. Did he see me? No. No, couldn't have. Oh God, Joyce! Where's Joyce? A gun? You bought a gun? For our safety. There's no telling who's after us or where they are now. You saw what happened. <laughs> Look, I'll leave it here. Someone shows up, you know where to find it. Riho, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I wanted Eagle View to work out for us, but I should have listened to you. Joyce asks about you every day, and I tell her you'll come as soon as you're done helping out there. She smiles, and I see you in her eyes. Have you ever seen those photos of old abandoned playgrounds? Animal figures all faded and warped. Creepy stories to go with them. There's something about a fresh new playground, silent and still, that's worse. Hey, mister. Are you looking for someone? Mister? Whee! What are you doing? No! No! Help! Help! It wasn't my fault! It, it was him! He followed us here! Coward! Damn you, I should have known! All you ever do is run! Salma, wait. This isn't you, it's that thing. It's still active, you know that. Salma! Salma, no! <laughs> We gave Pavel and Salma some basic med kits in this house so they could start up a clinic of sorts. Said they were doctors, but not what kind exactly. Is that why someone targeted them? To sabotage us? No, doesn't explain the girl. Do you think she wanted to do that? Or did she, in the moment between breaths, simply forget that she didn't? It's still active. That's what he said. Whatever happened to everyone is still happening. Pavel Kuryk, that was your name. You're dead because we failed to catch whoever is bringing guns in. You're dead because I failed. Now all I can do is look for your killer like I'm still a detective. But why you and the girl? What's going on? So, what about her? Salma Anderson. Park Roster has the girl listed as her daughter, but doesn't say if Pavel was her husband. And now she's gone into thin air. An entire family, just like that. And I can't answer the most important question. Why? Arturo Montiel, 27 years old, says he knows where the guns are coming from and who killed Pavel, but won't spill a word until I guarantee his safety and comfort. I'll see what I can do. Poor bastard's been sleeping under a tree. She fell from here, but what was she doing here in the first place? The hole is clearly visible. She wouldn't be playing so close to it. 
Was she pushed? Somebody said they heard several screams. But who would do such a thing? You had a lot of enemies here. People who hated you. Maybe I did too. But now, I'm just sorry it had to end this way. It was one of mine who shot you, I don't doubt it. So I'm sorry, Sergeant. For that, if nothing else. Drugs and weapons. Peers, needles, powders, uppers, downers, sheaves and switchblades. We've been confiscating this stuff for a long time now. But more of it keeps finding its way in. I can't help but wonder if there's a central supplier. People are disappearing. Too many to ignore, too quietly to have left. The soldiers say they haven't seen anything, but what if it's connected to the deaths? Darwaza, Pavel, the girl. Everything's coming apart and there's something I'm not seeing. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding, but that might just be wishful thinking. I should take stock of the evidence. So much death. Darwaza was shot by a civilian, I'm sure of it. Had nothing to do with Pavel, but the guns are the exact same model. A military model. But why supply the civilians? Unless that was never the intention, then who could trade for them? It's a powerful compulsion, the why. These are the questions that drove Andropov on, even more so than the who. Why would someone want to hurt us? Why these people? Why now? Why am I the only one who cares? A locked steel hatch? I don't know about you, but when I see a locked steel anything, I get awfully curious. Looks like we'll have to pry it open. Be advised. Systems operation compromised. Security lockdown protocol in effect. Oh, come on. Who built this place? This thing's busted pretty bad. Patching it up might release the magnetic clamp locks on those heavy doors. But where could we find a band-aid? like these in sewers? Looks more like a prison or a bunker to me. In fact, I'm not sure these are sewers at all. They, they don't smell right. There should be a moist stench, but these tunnels smell like burnt copper? This is strange, but it seems somehow relevant, don't you agree? I think it's out of order, which should hardly surprise us. Like a soda machine when you're really thirsty. Well, let's see if we can't find a way to get it fixed. Be advised. Operational status restored. Lifting security lockdown. There we go. I'm not sure what you did, but I feel different. Do you feel it too? Like a hundred thousand voices at the back of your head? No? Maybe it's just something I ate. I think we're done here, though. We should move on now.
This was the pride of Chernosk's railway, its heart. Grunbach Memorial Station, a stunning proof of concept. More recently, this is where people came to flee the city. I wonder if the trains are still running. The architects who built this part of town really didn't give much for the idea of accessibility, did they? Ah, another one of these. I had a feeling we might find one, because this is what we must have missed. Probably more than two as well. It looks like this one's hooked up to the same power grid as the trains. Want to play electrician? Huh, this switchboard connects to three different power sources here in the station. No weird machine, and no train either. Looks like we need to fire up those power sources first of all. This is it, I guess. I've never liked goodbyes. They're too definitive, but I think this might be the last time we see Chernosk. It's all about letting go in the end. Right. No looking back, pill over salt and all that. We have a train to catch. Look at this place. There must have been masses of people fleeing right at the beginning. It takes its toll on the grandeur. Still, I think there's something here that's a bit more recent. Want to have a look? They first fled to these high places because they thought it might be a gas of some sort, heavier than air. They remained here because it was easy to fortify, because the others didn't follow them here. Now departing for misunderstanding, conflict, and the upholding of divides. Oh. End of the line. This is where they were all going. The famous mountains of Chernosk. Safety and stability, if you believe the brochure. Eagle View Plateau should be just up ahead. find Eagle View's main attraction, an old settlement built right into the cliffside, one of the wonders of the world, currently home to divergent opinions and threats of violence. There was a natural cave system here first. No useful ore or stone, but plenty of shelter from the harsh mountain winds. The town came later, and I can't quite fathom how they went about building it, but I'm glad to see this place again. Someone's trying to cross the bridge! You there! Get after them! Driver, follow that group of terrified running people. The game is afoot. Goodbye, Eagle View. We hardly knew ye. If our mission works out for us, do better in the future.
I'm no mountain ranger, but I don't think those giant rings are naturally occurring. We're getting close again. Doctor, be honest. Is there any chance we may encounter crazies inside? They are not crazy, they are victims. And yes, there's a chance. It's why we had to run in the first place. Good thing you brought your cudgel, no? They stopped here to rest. Our confused would-be heroes. The last breath before the plunge. What do you think those giant rings are? Dr. Gerasimov says they are focus amplifiers. <sighs> I asked him to explain, but he said he didn't have the time to help me understand. The facility will have gone on automatic lockdown following the incident. It could be open from inside or from the main office, but also from here. There's a hidden console in an armored casing. If we get that open, I have the code. Keep an eye out for a key somewhere here. We need two of them to open the console, and I only have one. But I know Dr. Kozlowski left hers here when we stopped to rest. She might have buried it. So get digging. Look, here. There's a hidden ladder behind the rock. We improvised with ropes when we left. But if I can get to the console, we should be able to get the ladder out. The Institute did nothing by halves. This is strange. The lockdown isn't in effect with the first floor, and the central override has been used. That means someone's been in there. Someone with access. And they might still be inside. <laughs> Does this feel like walking down the barrel of a gun? A hope, a fault, an unfound door. This place is covered in that smell, like burned copper. I remember that smell now, like a dream. Like waking up to the scent of coffee or, or summer rain. Except this is what fear smells like. Be advised. Main power compromised. Facility running on auxiliary power. Mrs. Humanity, the doctor will see you now. This week's team dinner will be Thief Stroganoff. For such a remote location, they ate well. Three kinds of granola, fresh fruit, protein shakes, pancake Tuesdays, wine and sirloin to celebrate major breakthroughs. Imagine if Eagle View knew about this well stocked pantry. So here's where the dreams became reality, circuit by circuit. Grigori's tower, the giant rings, the devices they left in their trail all the way to Chernosk. All parts of the largest, most audacious machine ever built. It started out with mice and rabbits, then pigs, then monkeys. They tested drugs, beta blockers, shock therapy applied directly to the limbic system. This was many years ago. This is a calibrator to calibrate things. Our old friend Salma worked on this once upon a time. Looks like you're supposed to slot something into it. Doctor, are you okay? No mere keypad for this floor. That's a DNA reader right there. Fancy tech. I don't know what's going to happen to us. We restore to factory settings, revert everything they did, and this reality comes crashing down. Well, whatever awaits us, 
let's just hope it works this time. Right? Right. I'll see you on the flip side. Here we are. And there we are. Two rulers on two thrones. Do you feel it? The signal hums out across the world, and for an instant, they, they all sing along with it. A choir of the lucky and the brave. I can hear them. The mother who in anger killed her child. She swore, she cursed, she loathed her gentle heart. The slave who loved his chains, who clung to them in fear. Upon his skin, the touch of steel was soft and safe and warm. The lovers who forgot the world. Theirs was a place of mingled water and idolized meiosis. A doorless room could be no safer. We have done what we can. What's left is them, and they are wind and dreams. Behold the human who is flawed and perfect. Hey, kiddo. Are you awake? <laughs>